Hello everyone, I'm your host Shabazz Ross, and today we will journey through the art of little chunks of your childhood memories. We will dive into classic cartoons. Walking in with his bag of tricks and personality similar to that of Mickey Mouse is Felix the Cat. Around the time that I used to watch many of these old cartoons back in the day, he was one of my favorites alongside Popeye that I watched on the same DVD. Then there was a DVD alongside Casper cartoons, Wallace and Gromit, and many and one other one that I couldn't remember, but I think it was VeggieTales or something. Eventually, I experienced way more wonders like Baby Felix and Friends and Twisted Tales of Felix the Cat. But that moment right there just takes me all the way back to all elementary and kindergarten. The former. And now, strong to the finish, because he's the spinach, it's Popeye the Sailor Man. With his pipe smoke, squinty eye, large forearms with anchor tattoos, Popeye has left an impression on both kids and adults alike, encouraging kids to eat them vegetables and not be little sissies, and protect the ones you love deeply as adults as well. One other feature that I like about him is his laugh, because that's some things, some qualities that might help me with characters of my own, and an iconic laugh is very distinctive. But what's more disappointing, what's most disappointing, excuse me, is that the fact that the Emoji Movie was decided over the possible animated Popeye movie featuring the voices of Tom Kenny and Grey Delice as Popeye and Olive Oil respectively. But we were left with one of the biggest crap movies, which of course you already know, the Emoji Movie. Sucked so bad. Chose this over a Popeye movie. One of the most beloved characters of all time. What a waste. Now, pecking everything in sight, it's Woody Woodpecker. And getting on everybody's nerves in the process as well. And believe it or not, Mel Blanc, the man of a thousand voices, provided this bird. And it all came from a crazy laugh that he had back in school, which he said in an interview. Which made Woody's laugh most recognizable too. Also, in 2017, his movie wasn't all that good anyway, because the movie didn't actually focus entirely on him, and it was just plain unwatchable. But the only joys that movie had was Eric Bowser. Oh, good grief. It's Charles Brown. The one character any socially awkward person, new school student, or plain negative individual can relate to. And you gotta feel sorry for. I mean, it isn't like he was born on Friday the 13th, which could have been, which could have gone bad to highly crap filled if you think about it twice. He's the kind of character that serves as the butt of many jokes, as his bad luck causes him to lose at baseball or even kick a football, the latter of which may be heck had me rolling on the floor the first time when I saw the Thanksgiving special way back. We were all rooting for him in the 2015 movie, which was pretty okay, but once it reached the ending, he gets treated like a dookie from the daughter of the villain from Jumanji. It's Betty Boop. Don't let her feminine beauty charms fool you. She's got the personality of an elementary schoolgirl. However, if I was trying to find a perfect woman when I'm much older, I would have this to be like her. Sweet, pretty, no sassy attitude, or any attitude whatsoever, and so on. That'd be my kind of woman. In fact, she's more like the human version of Minnie Mouse. Which adds to my reasons, cause Minnie is a great girlfriend for Mickey. Casper the Friendly Ghost. Yet another character who I loved watching way back, and one where even I could relate to when it came to attending schools from Old Elementary to Cy Ranch, since his main character trait is to just make friends. But as always, everyone just happens to crap bricks every time they see him because they think they're in Ghostbusters, Paranormal Activity, or Poltergeist. He just wants to be y'all friend, 
Though I do remember this dumb episode where some kid thought he was a leprechaun. Casper's Scare School was pretty okay, as well as the series, but I didn't watch much of the latter. Nevertheless, nevertheless Casper remains one of the best old cartoons that I've seen. Oh, here he comes to save the day, Mighty Mouse. Mighty as he can be, the rooted version of Superman and the possible brother Jerry could ever have if Tom gives him trouble. Mighty Mouse has been there to save the day of children's good days turning bad. And speaking of which, let's not forget that one incident where children were forced to see the worst things, the worst controversial moments ever to be put on America's history of cartoons. Little Audrey. She's easily one of the cutest female characters ever. I even have a friend with the same name. But she's not really little, but well, she, well, she's kind of little. But, well, anyway, uh, I showed her this picture and I said that she always reminded me of her because of her personality. Like Felix, she too is known for laughing at the end of every cartoon and apparently she was also voiced by the same actress who played all of Oil, Betty Boop, and Casper. Audrey is the amalgamation of Lilo, Cream the Rabbit, Phoebe Heyerdahl, and number three, which makes the perfect character who's meant to be lovable, adorable, and huggable. And last but not least, our last attraction is the cat up with the greatest likes, which include Tom, Sylvester, Snagglepuss, Tigger, Pete, Simba, and Felix himself. Garfield seems to be the perfect role model for actually everybody who wants to be lazy, eat junk food, become smart Alex, and nap all day long 24-7. Interestingly, he and Tom do have some similar things as they torment Odie and Jerry respectively, are very iconic characters and used to walk on their and used to walk on all fours as well as the movies that were hit or missed. Mostly, little, mostly, little, mostly the latter. And so that concludes our journey through the era of classic cartoons. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I hope this all impressed you as next time we will journey through Looney Tunes. I'm your host, your boss, Ross, and thank you for your time.